probably about a six or a seven, I think. Uh, WrestleMania 40, Kevin. So this year, it's the 40th WrestleMania. Pretty big deal. Yeah. Usually, the, like the 10th WrestleMania, so 10, 20, 30, this will be 40. They're always big. WWE put extra effort into these shows, like really load the cards. Usually, the star power is quite good, especially at 20 and 30. This will be no different. My take is this, pal. WrestleMania 40, I'm going to predict, will be a top three all-time WrestleMania. Uh, and WWE, because WrestleMania 17 and 19, the WrestleManias we all consider as the greatest, because they had Chris Benoit on them, they ignore them and pretend they don't exist. WWE will treat WrestleMania 40 and talk about in the annals of history as the greatest WrestleMania of all time. Star power, matches, booking, celebrity, the scale. It's going to break all sorts of records from merchandise and tickets and all this. It'll be two nights, 80,000 people each night, same as 39. But this time, we've got an extra year into the Triple H regime. I'd say the matches are going to be fantastic as they were last year, but even better, Kevin. So that's my take. WrestleMania 30, top three all time. And it's touted as the greatest ever because Chris Benoit wasn't a part of it. Well, that's uh, unreal levels of hype. That I, I mean, just based purely on the amount of hype you're putting into this show, it's bound to disappoint at that point. It's like, you know, when, when you hype up like a, an album from your favorite artist or band, you hype it up so much, it's almost impossible for it to live up to that hype. It's kind of like one of those, but yeah, maybe, maybe that'll happen, pal. I don't know. I, I, WrestleMania 17 and 19 levels of greatness. WWE would have to deliver just banger after banger, hit after hit, for two nights in a row. Now, the re- my other justification to this is not just setting WWE up for failure blindly. When it comes to WrestleMania 40, as we allude to, with like 30, 20, those ones had a, just a crap ton of talent and loaded across the board. Particularly WrestleMania 30, I, this is the one I lived. I can't speak for WrestleMania 20. I mean, you can, some of the listeners can. But from WrestleMania 30... Because it's like the 10th annual one, the stars are out in full force. And I, on my channel, on JTE, have talked at length. I've rebooked that WrestleMania 30 show at length. WWE really misused all the talent that was available at the time. I think WrestleMania 30 should have been a top three or four WrestleMania ever with the talent they had, with everything. So there's no reason why 40 can't, especially when the person running the show has sort of a clue like, of how to book and it hasn't just given up. So, yeah, Triple H, I have full faith uh, and quite a bit of faith, as you can tell from this take. Top three all-time power. I think this will be a 9 out of 10 WrestleMania. I think this will, you know, if WrestleMania 39 was like 8.25, 8.5, I think this will be a 9 out of 10 show. So, yeah, it's going to be blistering, pal. Blistering like a blister. I can't wait. There it is, pal. Well, that, those are your honorable mentions. Shall we get started now? I think we shall. Now, of course.